Okay, here we go. It's after school, early October. Me and Mr. Cowan, we're, we're bench testing the motor because we just want to make 100% sure the students don't, don't blow themselves up. That's right. <laughs> okay, so here's what we've got so far. We've got the negative on. Looks like terminal S1. And we've got the positive on A2. And we've got A1 jumper to S2 as per the net gain motor instructions uh, on the web. All right, Mr. Cowan, are you ready? I'm ready to give all. Do it. And there we go, we're spinning up. We've bench tested the motor. And we've got clockwise rotation at the commutator end. And there we go. So that means the positive is on A2. And that should help us in figuring out how the forward reversing contactors uh, are going to wire up. Do you want to try and reverse this one up? I guess we might as well. Are you ready? Okay, hold on a second. Let's move up the motor stop before we... Oh, we will. <laughs> and we are reversing at the battery. Oh, it, it, they want us to look up the positive last, don't they? That's Ye what they said in the instructions. Yes. So here we go. Are you ready? And we're re reversing? Yeah. All right. And that is still clockwise. Uh, yeah, so that was clockwise rotation. Really? Yeah. Oh, because because you didn't re you didn't reverse those. No, I did reverse them. But what we did is we reversed the field in the stator and we reversed the field in the motor. Ah. So you have to, I guess, swap the band on there or something for S1 and S2 if you wanted to go backwards. Oh, you mean on a bench test, sort of. I guess so, yeah. Hmm. Crazy. Well, there we go. Well, we're going to keep messing around with this and we'll be That's back. Wild. It doesn't matter which way you hook it up. Lots of fun. Woohoo!